Hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial video on the TI-84 Plus CE Graphing Calculator. My name is Mr. Roper and if you haven't done so already, um, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. So if you find my videos helpful, uh, hover over the icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen if you're on your computer and hit subscribe. Or if you're on your phone, you can go to my channel and just hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about three different functions of our calculator. We're gonna talk about how to take the square root of a number, how to take the cube root, and then also how to take any other root that you would like, which is known as the nth root. So we'll start with the square root. Um, there's technically two ways to get to this. The easiest way um, we notice is this square root symbol or the radical here is above this x squared button, but since it's above it, we have to use the second button on our calculator in order to utilize that feature. Okay, so the calculator is on, and so I'm gonna hit second, and then the x squared button, and notice how my um, square root symbol there pops up, or my radical pops up. And we have a flashing box under the radical. So now we can type in whatever number we're trying to find the square root of, let's say 225. We hit enter, and it tells us the square root of 225 is 15, okay? Now with cube root, and any other root that we wanna take, we don't have a specific button on our calculator home screen, so to speak, for us to do that. So we have to kind of find it. So to do that, we wanna hit the math button. So we hit math, and notice we have two options here. Um, option number four is specifically for cube root, and then option number five would be for any other root or the nth root that we would wanna find. So there's two ways to get to this. You can use your down directional key to go down to four. So we're talking about the cube root on this um, and this time, and you can hit enter. And so now we have the cube root and we have that flashing box again. Let's say we wanna do the cube root of 512. We hit enter and we get eight, okay? So now we wanna take the, let's say the eighth root, okay? So we hit math again and we can go down to number five and hit enter or you can just use your keypad to click the number that you would like to use. So we want the fifth option here so I can just hit number five and it'll take me back to my home screen with that nth root option. So now notice the difference here. We have two uh, dotted boxes and the flashing box that we see right now is at the top. We call that the index. Um, and so if we were doing the square root, we would put a two there. If we were doing the cube root, we would put a three there. And so whatever root you are trying to find, that is where you're gonna place that number. So I said we're gonna do the eighth root, so I'm gonna type in an eight. Now I need to use my right directional arrow to go down uh, to type what I wanna take the eighth root of. And we're gonna take the eighth root of 6,561. We hit enter and it tells us three. And so that is how you take the square root, the cube root, or the nth root on the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator.